Okay, for problem 18, the solution is the same type of approach where you're given some engineering formulas, namely power is equal to energy divided by time, and then energy is force times distance. All right, and you're asked questions about this. Okay, so what we know is that there's a force applied of 1,200 or 12,000 newtons, so that's given acting on a box. It acts over a distance of 25 feet and it takes a half a minute or 30 seconds. All right, so what we're wanting to do is find the power required in watts, okay? And so uh, we go with these formulas to figure this out. So first of all, we could look at the, um, the total force, all right? We know the force is 12,000. Okay, and the distance, what unit do we need? Well, if we're gonna do this in SI units, which is where the answer choices lie, then we need to convert the feet to what? Okay, and so I'm telling myself, well, if I wanna do SI units, the standard units for uh, calculations of, um, of formulas is uh, kilograms for, for um, mass, okay, newtons for force, okay, and meters for distance. All right, so I need to convert this to meters. So that's my, my step next is to convert D into meters, all right? So after that, I know I'm gonna eventually get to uh, an average power, all right? So I take the energy from the formula force times distance, which now I know because I use the right units is 91,440 joules, all right? So I divide by T. All right, T was given in minutes, so I convert that to seconds. So I take the 91,440 uh, joules and divide by 30 seconds to get that it's approximately three kilowatts. All right, so that's my answer for uh, problem 18. Okay, problem 19, the key here is to notice that the temperature is actually a temperature difference. All right, if you're looking at a temperature difference, then really the 32 part doesn't matter anymore. All right, remember that we there's a video, if you need to, you can go back and look online. There's a video where I talked about temperature conversions and how we use different scales and that there's an offset on the Fahrenheit scale. Okay, but the point is that if you wanted to convert a, a temperature that's given in Celsius to um, Fahrenheit, so let's put the Fahrenheit here, then you take nine over five, I know that the Fahrenheit scale has a wider range, so nine goes on top, five goes on the bottom, delta TC. All right, so it's just a matter of multiplying by nine, 41 times nine divided by five, and the closest answer is 74 degrees. All right, another method you could use is you could choose any two temperatures that have a 41 degree difference. All right, so that's method two here. This was method one. All right, so choose any two temperatures that have a 41 degree difference. Well, an easy one would be choose the first temperature to be zero degrees, and we know that converts to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we could convert the 41 to Fahrenheit, and we get the 105.8, all right? So that was the, if you missed the problem, that was how, probably the mistake you made, was you didn't use the fact that this is a temperature difference. All right, so then if you just subtract the 105.8 minus 32, you get the 73.8, all right? So um, that is the basic idea whenever you're looking at something that has a temperature difference instead of an absolute temperature conversion. Okay, next, on problem 20, we're asked to convert or to calculate the moment about A due to force C. All right, and so we, we see here, we know this line of action of the force, and so all we need to know is the vertical distance to that line of action of force. Okay, so that's 15 centimeters, 15 times 300, that gives me the torque at A, all right, this would be a counterclockwise rotation, so this would be positive. Um, and, you know, the units here, I didn't ask for a conversion. It's centimeters times newtons. Okay, so the answer here would be A. 
All right. Next, we get to the problems about uh, the boat. All right, and so I'm looking at this water coming down. There's 1,200 newtons of tension on the cable indicated here. Um, what force is there that's required uh, to push this boat out uh, by 300 newtons, okay? And so, I'm sorry, we're, we're exerting 300 newtons of force pushing the boat out and we're wondering what is F, all right? So this, the idea here is it's a word problem that makes a force diagram, all right? So we have this acting at, um, you know, 1,200 newtons. Okay, and then we have this at 300 newtons. And we're wondering what this force would be. Okay, so this makes, you know, this is a right triangle. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can use trig or you can use the Pythagorean theorem and get the force would be the square root of 1200 squared minus 300 squared. Okay, and so when you calculate that, the answer is 1160. All right. On the next one, you take a look at the, at the same triangle and essentially, you know these, this force triangle and this is the 1200, this is the 300, and I want to know theta, all right? So it looks like we could use an arc sign, and if you have your calculator in um, the degree mode, this would be opposite over hypotenuse would give me theta. Okay, so when you do that, that turns out to be 14.5 degrees. Okay, so notice here, we didn't calculate any moments. It's just sum of forces. Uh, it's a force triangle, okay? And so if you're looking to choose the statement that best describes our answer, it, you know, we're talking about only forces, all right? So sum of forces on the boat has to be zero, okay? That's the only thing that we needed to get to the answer on number problems. Um, 21 through 23.